Raksasa teknologi Microsoft mengumumkan akuisisi senilai hampir 69 miliar dolar atas Activision Blizzard, produsen permainan video ternama di balik permainan perang Call of Duty. Activision Blizzard is one of the is the largest North American game publisher and so for one of the platform holders to acquire the biggest publisher means that now you have this powerhouse of content and distribution. Uh, they do this of course because they're in some ways still competitive with Sony and the PlayStation as well as uh, trying to roll out a cross-platform, a platform agnostic strategy across different markets. Setelah sebelumnya industri film dan TV menjalani konsolidasi konten, maka kini tren serupa sedang terjadi dalam industri video game. One of the topics that remains after this acquisition is of course what happens to the rest of the market. What happens to a publisher like EA, what happens to Ubisoft, um, will Amazon swoop in, will Netflix acquire one of them uh, and at what price? Pada September 2020, Microsoft juga membeli Zenimax Media yang waktu itu juga menjadi salah satu produsen video game independen terbesar dengan produk andalan termasuk Doom dan Elder Scrolls. Um, Activision has a lot of intellectual property and uh, a lot of businesses that are developed that Microsoft hasn't yet actually engaged in like mobile, um, like free to play uh, without having to buy anything. So like Call of Duty Warzone is free and you don't have to purchase the Call of Duty game to play it. So I think Activision's development talent allows Microsoft to perhaps take uh, some of its own IP and exploit it in other business models like mobile. Uh, Forza Motorsport would be a good mobile game. Dalam industri ini Microsoft dengan konsol video game, Xbox bersaing ketat dengan Sony dengan PlayStation yang lebih banyak memiliki konten eksklusif. It's an open question whether the regulators will allow Microsoft to exclude PlayStation from the mix and that's the part that could be an impediment to the deal getting done. Um, and you know, I think that while we're waiting for the regulators and for this deal to get done, it's an open question, you know, why would anybody who loves Call of Duty buy a PlayStation? And Sony's going to point that out. Tak lama sebelum akuisisi Activision Blizzard, Take Two Interactive, produsen permainan Grand Theft Auto, mengumumkan akuisisi senilai 11 miliar dolar lebih atas Zynga, produsen permainan populer Farmville. Selama pandemi, permainan video menjadi pelarian positif bagi banyak konsumen di Amerika Serikat karena bisa dilakukan secara aman dari rumah saja. Dan penjualan permainan video meningkat tajam terutama pada saat awal pandemi. Menurut pantauan NPD Group, sebuah perusahaan riset pasar, penjualannya tetap meningkat selama 2021, yaitu meningkat sekitar 8 persen dibandingkan tahun sebelumnya. Dari Washington DC, saya Nova Purwadi dan tim VOA.